Hello guys, uh, in this video we are going to talk about loops in Python, right? So loops are a very important part of any programming language. So in general, what is the concept of a loop? It allows you to repeat, repeatedly execute a block of code while a particular condition is true, right? Suppose you want to walk 10 steps, right? So what you will do is you will have a condition that while number of steps is less than 10, you will walk a step, right? Walk one step, right? So this is a basic structure of the loop while loop in any programming language. So what you have is you will initial, you will have one initialization condition. E, what is my current step from where I'm starting, right? So while this number of steps is less than equal to 10, I'm going to walk one step, which basically means my number of steps will get incremented by one. So any loop in any programming language will have these three constraints. The first constraint is a called initialization condition. This is called a termination condition. When to stop. And this is what you, this is the work you want to do. This is the code which you want to execute again and again. And this is your update condition, right? The same logic flow is depicted here, right? So once you enter the loop, it will check the condition while the condition is true. You will execute a piece of code. This is the code which gets executed and outside this block. Once the loop is over, you will come outside this block. Right? So we will write a while loop in Python. It will again have these three con constraints, initial condition, the termination condition and the update condition, right? And Similarly, we have a while loop, a for loop in Python and something which is called a for each loop, right? We will also see what is a for each loop, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about these three loops in Python. So let us get started. Okay. So let us, uh, uh, first talk about the while loop. Okay. So suppose I want to iterate over uh, numbers from 1 to n, right? So let me say that n is let's say 10, i is 1, and I will see while i is less than equal to n or i is less than equal to n, I'm going to do print step i, right? Step and followed by you can have str of i, right? or you can have step percentage d and here you can have percentage i right? and i goes to i plus 1 and that's it right and here you can print loop finished so you can see the loop is going from step 1 to step 10 and this is how we write while loop in Python and please note that there is an indentation of one tab at this side and also at this place. All the conditions, all the statements which come inside the loop will have will be indented by a one tab. Okay, and the same thing we can also do using a for loop. Right. So let us also try to write a for loop. So for for loop, we will use one very important function which is called a range function let us first see what range does is right so let me just print the range from 1 to 10 okay this range function uh, returns an iterator in python 3 which we will see right so we can directly use this uh, range function to execute a for loop right so what we can do for i in range 1 to 10, let us do print i and let's say the ending point is a comma, right? So you can see this loop is going from 1 to 9, right? So whenever you use the range function, the starting point of the range function is this and this is not the ending point. Instead, this is e plus 1, right? So if you are using a loop from S to E plus one, then the output will be from S to E. So the loop will include this value 
but it will exclude this value the ending point of the loop is the ending parameter of the range function is not included in the output right and if you want to take a jump the third you can specify a third parameter which is two so you will see it is taking a jump of two it is going from one to three three to five five to seven right so this is this basically helps you how to update a particular number that from one i want to go to three so this is doing the same work which is being done by i plus equals to two so this is one very important method we are going to make a lot of frequent use of this method while coding lot of algorithms and now let us write one simple function to compute factorial of a number okay suppose you have a number n let's say number is 10 and you want to compute 10 factorial right so what you will do you will have a answer equals to 1 and for i in range 1 to 11 you will multiply your answer with i and here you can print your answer so this is the answer of your 10 factorial right so remember i have used till 11 but this loop will go only till 10 so this is how using a for each loop you can implement uh, you can uh, use this for each loop and using this range function all right so we will talk more about loops uh, in the coming videos when we discuss strings lists and more stuff so thank you guys for watching i will see you in the next video